Lake of the Ozarks, the setting of the hit Netflix series, Ozark. We have traveled to Osage Beach, Missouri, where the beautiful inn at Grand Glaze Resort will host the 2022 Slap Fight Summer Smash. Fighters from all over the country will descend on this lake to test themselves at the barrel, and we have invited 200 lucky fans to witness the spectacle. This is our first public event since 2018, and what an incredible night we have planned. The fans have been enjoying their time at this breathtaking resort, rubbing elbows with their favorite slap fighters, and experiencing all that the Lake of the Ozarks has to offer, but now it's time to fight. The fans are ready, the fighters are ready, all we need is you. It's the Slap Fight Summer Smash. The fans here at Lake of the Ozarks are patiently waiting for tonight's action to begin, and we are now just moments away Hello, Fight fans. My name is JT Tilly, and I have just spent an incredible weekend here with 200 rowdy fans from all over the United States. They were invited here to witness our first public event since 2019, and let's not keep them waiting. The first challenger in our main event is Tampa, Florida-based slapper, The Bell. The Bell made his first appearance at Slap Fight earlier this year during our Redemption pay-per-view on Fight, where he faced legend Frank the Tank in a controversial fight which saw Frank challenge himself by using his left hand. The Bell shocked fans by knocking Frank down three times and winning by TKO. Slap Fight promoters quickly booked a rematch to satisfy rabid fans who insisted that Frank compete with his right hand. The Bell dominated Frank early in the match, knocking him off of his feet in rounds one and two and taking a commanding lead on the judges' scorecards. But Frank refused to go down and kept the margins close enough that a clubbing violation by the Bell in the later rounds swung the fight just enough for Frank the Tank to even the score and chop away at the Bell, making the fight almost too close to call. until a violation by the bell gave Frank a razor thin victory and left the bell in the loser's column. Slap fight promoters have decided to give the bell another opportunity, this time at super heavyweight. His opponent will be Bloomfield, Missouri native, The Hulk. The Hulk entered the Armageddon tournament as an alternate, and although he was the smallest competitor at 300 pounds, he entered the bracket in the semifinal and absolutely decimated the beast with a second round standing knockout. He then faced the hardcore hillbilly in the final round, becoming the first man to ever knock the hillbilly to the mat. The Hulk became the top contender at Super Heavyweight that night and has Solid Slug's championship in his sights. But first, he must get past the bell. Your 2022 Armageddon Tournament Champion, The Hulk, faces the bell in the main event of the Summer Smash. One of these two powerhouse slappers will leave the Summer Smash main event with the Interim American Slap Fighting Championship. Last night at the weigh-ins, the bell tipped the scale at 266 pounds. His opponent, the Hulk, weighed in at 300 pounds. Up next, the main event of the 2022 Summer Smash, The Bell versus The Hulk for the American Slap Fight Super Heavyweight Championship. This man is one of the future stars of slap fighting. Very few people have worked as hard as the bell to get where he is today. And tonight is his opportunity to become the champion. All the way from Tampa, Florida, ladies and gentlemen, your number one contender, the bell.
weighing at 300 pounds from Bluefield, Missouri. This is the Hole. Yeah! The Hulk is a retired mixed martial arts champion and he is looking to become a slap fighting champion tonight. 300 pounds, six foot three, all the way from Bloomfield, Missouri. He wants to knock the bell out and take that belt home with him tonight. A little bit of sportsmanship between these two, but I have to tell you, both of these gentlemen are waiting to take this belt home, and the only thing standing in their way is each other. All right, folks, let's take a look at the rules of slap fight. First off, no clubbing. All competitors must land their strikes with an open hand. The heel of the hand may make contact, but cannot extend past the chin. Next, no stepping. Feet must be planted shoulder width apart, and there can be no pivoting or stepping when striking. And finally, no flinching. Small reactions are allowed, but any movement that affects the power of the strike is a foul. All right, in a battle of heavy hitters, the coin toss is instrumental, so let's go back down to the barrel. And it looks like the Hulk has just won the coin toss and he will elect to slap first. Holy smokes. Go. Yeah. The Hulk checks his placement. Here's your wind up. Oh, not a bad slap, but right at the last second, the bell ducked his head. Uh, that's not a club, in my opinion. We're going to see what the lead official says here. The bell's looking for a penalty here. It looks like we're going to continue without the penalty. We're going to go into the bottom of round one. And now the bell will return fire. Let's go, Bell! The bell taking a page from the Bayou Bastards handbook. He likes to slap with his glasses on, and he'll take them off when receiving a slap. Here we are in the bottom of round one. Here we go. The bell with incredible technique. And a fantastic slap on the Hulk. Knocks the Hulk back about two feet, pisses him off. Oh my. We have got a fight on our hands, ladies and gentlemen. The Hulk taking a few minutes here, just a few seconds to clear the cobwebs. The bell is waiting at the barrel to get slapped. The Hulk siding in for round two. One, Here's the wind up. Two, three, oh, a big shot from the Hulk. And the bell eats it and stares him down. OK, we're going to have another conversation here with lead official Kyron Bowen. It looks like he's talking to the bell about his head movement. Here we are in round two. Oh, and the bell stuns the Hulk again. Holy smokes. The Hulk taking advantage of his break. Unbelievable start to this title fight. The Hulk is back to the barrel for round three. Little bit, but let's not. Yeah. 
Here we go. One, two, three. Oh, another good shot from the Hulk. The bell eats it. The bell has one of the best chins in the game. But the Hulk has one of the strongest arms in the game. We are now in the bottom of round three. Intensity on the bell's face. Oh, another big shot from the bell. And the Hulk doesn't like it. He's upset. The Hulk's gonna push the pace here, round four. Okay, we're just gonna check, make sure, make sure there's some cotton in the ears here. The last thing we want is a busted eardrum. Here we go, round four. Oh, and another big shot. The bell is eating these shots like they're nothing. That's got to bother the Hulk. You can see it in his face, he's getting pissed. And another good slap from the bell. It looked like it might have been just a little bit high. No penalty. Got some bruising on the temple and the eye of the Hulk. A little bit of swelling on the left cheek of the bell. What an incredible start to the fight so far. The Hulk's going to check his placement here. One, two, three. Oh, the Hulk stings him again, and the bell eats it and looks him in the eyes. We are now going into the bottom of round five. The bell having a little bit of a hard time getting his glasses to fit over his cheek. Big, big swelling on the cheek of the bell. Oh my gosh, another big shot from the bell. Wow. We got word right before the match that Solid Slug has decided to vacate his title and the winner of this match will be the undisputed Slap Fight American Super Heavyweight Champion. These two men were told right before the match that this fight is for all the marbles and they both want the belt. Oh, another big shot from, from the Hulk and the Bell's, Bell's looking for a foul. The Bell's saying he got hit in the eye. No penalty here. The officials are warning the Bell about moving his head into the strike. Oh, and you can just see the water vaporize off the cheek of the, of the Hulk. He says he's okay. There's quite a bit of bruising on the, the left side of his face. And he doesn't like it. The Hulk told me earlier he does not like it when he slaps guys and they don't fall down. It upsets him. The intensity in this fight is incredible. We're in round seven of a 10 round fight. Oh, and another big shot from the Hulk. Wow. Right now this fight is anybody's game. We've got three more rounds to work. Oh! Oh, the Hulk is hurt. The Hulk is hurt bad. Holy smokes. The bell with another crippling blow. The Hulk's having a hard time keeping his balance. All right, the medical team stepping in here to have a conversation with Hulk. Oh, 
unbelievable fight so far. The bell staring him down, ready for the next round. I don't know. The Hulk took a big shot here, folks. This could be the end of the match. This, this fight could be over. They're discussing it now. Thanks for watching the 2022 Slap Fight Summer Smash. What an incredible evening of American slap fighting we have witnessed, and we want to thank you for choosing to spend your time with us. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Slap Fight Championship on all social media and support the growth of American slap fighting. My name is JT Tilly, and you've been watching Slap Fight. There is only one.